Hello and welcome to this video on number machines. Now all a number machine is, is it's something that takes an input, it takes in the input, it does something to it, whatever's in this square, and then it spits out a number. So for example, if the input was three, and I input that into a number machine, which adds five, then it takes the input of three, it adds five to it, and what's three plus five? Well, it's eight, so it would spit out eight as the output. Or just to take another example, if I use an input of minus two and I input that into my number machine, the number machine adds five to whatever the input was. Well, minus two is the input, add five to it, and then that gives you three. Minus two plus five is equal to three. And sometimes in exam questions, you ask to do this backwards. So for example, if I had the number machine was plus five and I knew that the output was say 11, then what would the input be? Well, what, when you add five to it, would give you 11? What plus five is 11? Well, to do this plus five backwards, we can just do the opposite. That's to subtract five. So we do 11 and we subtract five to go backwards. 11 minus five will give you six. So this number here will be six. And that works because six, when you add five to it, gives you 11. You can also chain these together. So if you had two number machines chained together. We could have, say, times by four, and we have, say, plus two. Then, if I have an input of, say, five, then what is the overall output gonna be? Well, the five is the input. It goes through this number machine, which multiplies it by four. Five times four is 20, so we could put the 20 as the output of this number machine, and then that 20 gets fed into this next number machine. So now the 20 becomes the input of this number machine. 20, when you add two to it, becomes 22. Now let's do some exam style questions to practice this. We got this first question, we got the input. The number machine is times by three. So we got times by three and then it spits out some output. And the first question is, what is the output when the input is four? So, if the input was four, the input's here, that's what's fed into the number machine. Four, and then we feed into the number machine, we times it by three, and that outputs 12. So the answer is 12. I'm just gonna double underline it to indicate that's the answer. What about B? What is the input when the output is 18? So this time we've got the same number machine, but now we know the output is 18. So we've got to think, well, what multiplied by three gives you 18? Well, we do the opposite, 18 divided by three to go backwards, and that's gonna give us six. So the answer is six. Now let's go on to question two. We've got an input and then it's fed through two number machines. So we've got times six, then the output of that then is fed as the input into the next number machine, which is plus seven, and then we've got some output. So part A is find the output when the input is six. So the input on the left is six, and then let's feed it through these two number machines. So we've got six, you times it by six, that gives you 36. Then the 36 is fed as the input into this number machine. 36 plus seven is 43, and that is the answer. What about the second question? Find the output when the input is minus two. So again, we're told the input, so I'm gonna write the same number machines. The input is minus two. That first gets fed into the times by six, so minus two times six. Now we know that two times six is 12, but if you have a negative number times by a positive number, then you might know that gives you a negative number. So it's going to be minus 12, and then we got minus 12 and we add seven. So minus 12, add seven, that gives us minus five. And if you're not comfortable with adding or timesing or dividing negative numbers, then I have separate videos on those. And finally, C, find the input when the output is 79. So this time we're given the output. So I'm gonna copy these same number machines because it's the same question. But the output, i.e. on the right, is 79. Now we've got to work our way backwards. So 79, 
We do the opposite of adding 7 to undo it. So 79 minus 7 gives us 72. You can see that 72 plus 7 would give you 79. And then we go do this times 6 backwards. So the opposite of timesing by 6 is dividing by 6. 72 divided by 6 gives us 12. So the answer would be 12. The input would be 12. And we can always check it by putting the 12 back through these two number machines and checking that we get 79. And then finally, question three, we've got, uh, we've got an input, then it goes through times by four, and then there's some mystery number machine that we don't know, and that gives us some kind of output. So question A is, the input of five gives an output of 27. So why don't we put that in here? We've got input of five, the output is 27. It also tells us the second operation, i.e. the second number machine, is an addition. So it's going to be plus something. So, well, 5 times 4, that gives us 20. And then we've got to think, 20, if we have an addition and that gave us 27, what have we done to the 20? Well, we've added 7, haven't we? We've added 7, so the answer is plus 7. That's the operation. Yep. And then finally, if the input is x, find an expression for the output in terms of x. So this time we've got an input of x, it's going through these two number machines, times by 4, and then it's going through plus 7, and we've got to find an expression for the output in terms of x. Now this one's a bit harder, because instead of a number as an input, we've actually got a variable. So let's think carefully about our knowledge about algebra. So x, it's multiplied by 4. Now what's x times by 4? Well, that's 4x, isn't it? We don't write x4, you have to put the number first. It's 4x, which means 4 lots of x, i.e. 4 times x. And then this 4x, we add 7. What is that? Well, it would be incorrect to say 11x. That's what a lot of students say. They think 4x plus 7 is 11x. That would only be true if this was plus 7x. If we had 4x plus 7x, then we could collect those like terms to get 11x. But these are not like terms. That's an x term. That's not an x term. It doesn't have an x. So you can't collect them together. So the answer is just 4x plus 7. That 4x, we're adding 7 to get 4x plus 7. And that doesn't simplify any further. So that is the answer.